systems for motors in, uh, in seagoing vehicles. First of all, we start with water going into a container up in a, in a high area to show by gravity that this particular water will go down the pipe. It starts here. That green, uh, the green uh, tube on the right is nothing more than a water hose filling up the uh, water container. Then this hose here is going to go down into the container that will, will show the implosion of the Brown's gas. What we'll do now is open each valve one at a time. Whatever air is trapped inside the cylinder, we will push out through the hoses into this plastic container outside. Uh -huh. <clears throat> the objective is to get all of the air out of the hoses. That's right. He's opening up that valve, which is going to be bringing water from up above into, down into the container, from the container, out through each one of the hoses to fill the hoses with water. The reason for the numerous hoses is to enable us to draw a tremendous amount of water through the hoses at one time at the point of implosion. Each valve is being opened to get rid of all the air in the hoses. All of the water is in the hoses. The hoses are full and what uh, he's going to do now is open up the valve from the uh, gas producing, gas production machine. That gas is going to then uh, replace all the water within that blue container and the hoses. The purpose for, uh, for moving all the water out is so that it can be a, a completely perfect mixture of the Brown's gas within the container to indicate the implosion. So go ahead. Okay, so you're opening up the first cleared out the first hose. And now he's going to continue to clear out the rest of the hoses. We're going to detonate, point to the, uh, to the, to the unit, we're going to detonate a spark plug which is going to cause the gas to implode. And please note the uh, the area down here where the water is located. I'm going to go down there swiftly so we can see how it works. We're going to detonate it now. You can see how the detonation took place and drew the water up. Sucked up into the, into the container. We're going to open up the valve again. By the process, this, this, just a moment, by the process of the gas being made by DC energy within the, the cells, it creates a 60 PSI pressure. So what we're going to do is use the gas, which is created in a, one of the Brown's gas machines, to uh, push the water up one atmosphere, which is approximately 30 meters, or 10 meters uh, now. So go ahead. That's going to go up, and it's going to squirt out. Yes. Go over it. there. OK. It's going to go up. Up here, across inside, come down over there. Go ahead, open her up. Okay. 
Okay. But this shows the pressure of the gas which is being created, pushing all the water out of the container, up that hose. All right, very good. Now, what does all this mean? What does this mean? Yeah, I know what it means. I'll explain it. <laughs> what, what this means is as follows. That this particular unit here could be used as a, call it motor for lack of a better term, on a boat. As a Exactly. And why, first of all, we use the Brown's gas to, as, as suction, using the implosion process to suck in the water, which from the forward portion of the boat, the water would enter here. Uh, we would add uh, more gas then and a little bit of uh, oxygen, yeah. just air, regular air, explode it safely, immediately driving the water which was brought into this container out under high speed, which is totally controllable, out the aft end of the boat. This can be done on a continuous basis and, in, and, and make literally the boat turn into a rocket if the hull can withstand the speed of the uh, water against the hull. And this is a principle of pull and push. The principle of pull and push. Up to now, no one ship does make an all high speed gas which have only push back. And this is pull on the north and push back. Very good. Using this same mechanism, this unit could draw water up from a reservoir, river, what have you, and from any, any direction, sucking the water up using the implosion process. In turn, it can push through the, its regular pressure with, of the gas which is being generated, it can push the water up another 10 meters. All right. Once that has taken place, oxygen and more of Brown's gas can be uh, entered into the container, ignited safely, again driving the water up to as high as a person would uh, like to put it up. Once it goes into a reservoir in a high area, it can in turn be brought down uh, to generate through a pelton wheel or some other turbine device energy. Using this process, we're talking about uh, a very, very small amount of energy. Professor, could you come over here for a minute? Sure. And we don't know because of the lack of of data and research which has been done. But let me ask you a question. If we took one liter of water and applied one kilowatt of electrical energy to that liter of water, it would create 340 liters of gas. No. No. What would it create? One liter of water and five kilowatt of electrical energy. Yes. Maybe 1,000, I think that's 60 liters of gas. 1,960. 1,860 liters of gas. Okay, now that gas, if 